Italy is currently gearing up for an extremely ambitious megaproject that will capture the world's attention. The construction of the world's longest suspension bridge. Spanning 3.2 kilometers across the Strait of Messina, this bridge aims to connect Italy's mainland directly to the stunning island of Sicily. Once completed, the $12.4 billion Strait of Messina Bridge will easily snatch the title of the longest suspension bridge in the world from Turkey's Çanakkale Bridge, triumphantly stretching over a kilometer longer. This bridge, with a history dating back to Roman times, has been thousands of years in the making. However, it's still seeing its fair share of challenges, from the strong water currents in the strait to political risks and being threatened by the Italian Mafia. Will Italy overcome all the challenges and finally succeed in building the world's longest suspension bridge? Or will it remain a pipe dream? Welcome back to PST Mega Projects. The division between Sicily and mainland Italy has contributed to the development of the cultures and economies of the two lands for centuries. Still, it also came with a massive problem, a significant disconnect in travel and transportation. For example, if you wanted to take a train from Rome on the mainland to Palermo in Sicily, you'd have to sit through an 11.5-hour journey in which the train is moved onto a slow ferry that crosses the water. So building a bridge will eliminate this inefficiency by reducing the time needed to travel between Italy and Sicily. The rewards of this could be massive as it could boost the integration and tourism between the two lands and turn Sicily into a global supply chain hub, which would really transform the economy of Italy's historically poor southern half. On the mainland, the bridge is planned to connect to the new stretch of the salerno Reggio calabria motorway and to the planned naples Reggio calabria high-speed railway line and on the Sicilian side, to the Messina-Catania and Messina-Palermo motorways as well as the new Messina railway station. This marks 20.3 kilometers of road links and 19.8 kilometers of railway links to other transportation hubs in Italy, which emphasizes its importance to connectivity. The bridge is also planned to connect Reggio Calabria to Messina. These two cities face each other on either side of the strait to form a single city. Still, this idea was faced with strong opposition to the formation of the new city by various Sicilian nationalist groups. Notably, this idea of building a bridge over the strait of Messina is nothing new. In fact, the earliest recorded attempt to bridge Italy and Sicily dates back to 252 BCE when Consul Metellus of the Roman Empire placed long planks of wood on top of barrels to create a temporary passage for transporting war elephants. This simple idea established the importance of the strait as a crucial point for trade and military movement in Italy, which is shown in the idea resurfacing repeatedly throughout history in medieval times as well as after the Second World War when the first blueprints were proposed. Thanks to Italy's economic challenges after the war, the project remained an idea on paper. It nearly came to fruition in 2009, but that attempt was called off in 2013. As you'd expect, after more than 50 years of aborted construction attempts, the Messina Street Bridge has become an icon of failure in Italy. But the Italian government decided to give the project another go in 2024, allocating a massive $12.4 billion to its construction. But there are several challenges Italy must overcome first to turn this bridge into a reality. The first is that the Strait of Messina is a violent stretch of water. It has two alternative currents strong enough to rip seaweed from the seabed and can experience gales up to 100 km per hour. And that's not all, as the strait also lies in the middle of the fault line between the African and Eurasian tectonic plates, which makes it prone to extreme earthquakes. In fact, the strait was the epicenter of a magnitude 7.1 earthquake that killed up to 82,000 people back in 1908. So, how is Italy planning to build the bridge and overcome these conditions? The plan is to build a single-span suspension bridge running from Tor Rifaro in Sicily to Villa San Giovanni on the Italian mainland. This single span solves the issue of the strong currents. Not having a pier in the strait saves the construction team from having to contend with strong currents during construction and removes any obstacles to shipping once complete. There's also the fact that the bridge's towers will be placed on the shore, which will give them a firmer footing to withstand strong seismic activity. In addition to that, the bridge will be fitted with a buffer, allowing the deck to flex to adapt to harsh conditions. Two anchors containing over 5.5 million cubic meters of concrete and steel will also keep the bridge in place, helping it withstand a 7.5 magnitude earthquake and 186 mile per hour winds. While this solves the issue of currents and earthquakes, it creates another problem. The bridge will be enormous, which puts it at risk of being exposed to the strait's famously extreme winds. To solve this problem, Italy got creative with the deck's design. Instead of one single deck, the bridge will comprise three separate boxes, two for roads and one for rail. 
These boxes will be reinforced by crossbeams every 30 meters. These boxes will have shallow wedges that will deflect oncoming wind and push it up through the gaps in between, helping the bridge survive wind speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour. Additionally, the bridge will be around 74 meters above sea level and allow a navigation channel of 600 meters, allowing cargo vessels and even the tallest cruise ships to pass. The design also includes four traffic lanes, two driving lanes, and one emergency lane in each direction, along with two railway tracks and pedestrian lanes. This highlights the bridge's role as a multi-faceted channel for transportation, not just for vehicles, but for trains and foot traffic. By now, you must be thinking, if the Italian government has everything figured out, why hasn't it been built yet? And you'd be right to ask that. Even though this bridge is a perfect example of how the power of engineering can seemingly overcome impossible challenges, it's also proof of how politics can completely turn plans upside down. The truth is, many Italians are sick of hearing about this bridge, which has become a casualty of the country's unstable political system. In 2005, after nearly 40 years of preliminary work on the bridge, Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi announced that construction would commence the following year. However, this was quickly abandoned when Berlusconi was removed from office in 2006. Then, over the next 16 years, Italy saw eight new prime ministers, who each alternated between supporting and opposing the bridge, so you can understand why some people think it'll never see the light of day. Construction projects in southern Italy are also often threatened by two major organized crime syndicates, the Calabrian Endrangheta and the Sicilian Cosa Nostra. The mafia boss of Cosa Nostra, Matteo Messina Di Noro, opposed the construction of the bridge, in part because mobs feed off poverty and underdevelopment. But he was arrested in early 2023, which represented a victory for the bridge and the Italian government. Despite the arrest, fears remain. In fact, an anti-mafia study from the Nomo Center warns that parts of the project, such as transport and supply, could fall under the control of the Sicilian Mafia, as well as there being the possibility local mobs could demand protection money. But the current Prime Minister, Giorgio Maloney, is supporting the bridge, and the country's infrastructure minister, Matteo Salvini, downplayed these concerns, saying that the government will hire the best global companies to supervise the bridge to protect it from criminal infiltration. He also described the mega-project as the dream of millions and ordered construction to commence in 2024. It's no surprise that the current Italian government is so keen on seeing the bridge completed, as $1.3 billion in public funds has already been spent on feasibility studies since 1965 and Salvini is fond of saying it will cost more not to build the bridge than build it. Whether this new attempt will succeed or fail remains to be seen, but it certainly won't be completed overnight, as Italian officials have suggested it won't be completed until the 2030s. Well, that is everything for now. What do you think? Will this mega project help Italy? Will it ever be completed? Please let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. Your support helps us continue our work. Thanks again for your support, and I will see you in the next one.